crazy listen though. To all types of music, but we found ourselves particularly inspired by Culture Club on WRUR. It sounds pretty good. <laughs> they have pretty high quality audio at this time. WRUR celebrating. Cart machines were used in radio stations roughly from 1959 to 1999. They mostly played in public service announcements, station IDs, radio jingles, commercials, newscasts, and promotional announcements. The digital audio revolution of the 90s marked the beginning and the end for the cartridge machine. At least with this tape, even the signal right here says so. But it's funny, you can hear a little bit of crap from the past. This is to say thanks to Boy George for being himself on WRUR. Takes away from the higher register, but it's kind of a cool sound, so people actually, you know, put it on guitars or vocals now as an effect. <laughs> they like the sound. Well, it's pretty interesting. I was expecting kind of a large uh, tape machine. We have one at U of R um, that Professor Resner was trying to fix, and it was just, I don't know, it was large. It was like a huge computer, kind of something that you'd see in an older movie or something with the light bulbs and everything. <laughs> so when I came in to see the cart machine, I was expecting something pretty much the same size, something that was as tall as I was and as wide as I am. And um, it was just amazing to see, you know, that much technology shoved in here. But then again, you can kind of see the same technology shoved into my little phone. So it's kind of interesting how far technology has come. So.